raspberry jam. It's nice and fluffy. There you go. This looks beautiful. We just finished breakfast at uh, La Province Petitisserie. Yeah. Province Petite Pro Provence. Province twice. And we got a couple of pan au chocolate for the road. Yep. Yeah. It's very good. Definitely. Super good. We got um, the raspberry mojito French toast. We got a flight of mimosas, like you saw, and the chorizo hash. Super, yeah. super good. It was very good. Mm -hmm. this I always is... like maxing uh, sweet and savory together. Mm -hmm. It's the second time we've been. Last time when we were in Rose City for the Comic Con, we had it and it was super good then too. Yeah. We're good to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're going to have an adventure through Portland. Through Portland. A beautiful weekend. Yeah. That's a great yeah. weather, too. So, I will see you in a bit. We are on our next, on our way to the next destination. We're going to try and hit a whole bunch of like retro game stores and antiquing. So I'm not sure how much we're going to end up sharing overall, but we are excited. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. So probably, you know, some um, time-lapse, hyper-lapse sort of stuff going on, depending on how the day looks but all of our food will definitely be shared. Yeah. Because we plan on eating good in the neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> yep. So, bye! I ended up having some footage corrupt, so here we are with some Google Maps. Our first stop after breakfast ended up at the Kids at Hearts toy store on Hawthorne. It is very close by to the Hawthorne Game Exchange, which was closed when we got there, so we decided to wander the toy store. It was very cute, lots of jelly cat, and I got a little buddy. Then we went to the Hawthorne Game Exchange, which is a small game store. They had some very reasonable prices on things like cables, some of the Wii games without cases. Overall, it was very clean and lots of little charm. I definitely would recommend checking it out because the prices were so reasonable. Then we went to Vintage Pink, which is something I follow on Facebook, and it is a vintage mid-century store. They have lots of furniture that is like brand new quality, but tr authentic mid-century. So if you're really into that, I definitely recommend taking a look. Next adventure. I'm doing pretty good. That coffee was nice. It was good. That was a good pick me up. Because yeah. I had a little bit of like a, a sluggishness going. <laughs> yeah. It's been such a nice day. We've done so much. It has. I can't believe that it's, you know, two. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it is. Good. It's going by at a good pace. Like, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. So check in later.
Bye. Bye. Big art. Just Mario and Sanic. It is. This was actually the first one that we saw on the list. It was. It was like the best rated. See a whole bunch of them. I don't think so. I got the boy. <laughs> Obviously had to get him. Yeah. yeah, now we are off on another adventure. That one was amazing and definitely one to stop at. If yeah. you're going through Portland area, it's a little further south than actual Portland. It's kind of like a suburb, Yeah. but Beaverton. But definitely, I think that would be the one to go to. If you, yeah, if you were limited, you can only go to one. Yeah, if you could only go to one, that is definitely the one to go to if you if are, if you have a car. Yeah, if you're going for looking. Yeah, going for looking, Connor said. But yeah, that that is where we are at now. I'm not sure what our next stop or adventure will be, but we'll probably just see what's in the area of Beaverton, kind of what's around us. Yeah. And then we can make a decision. Yeah. Yeah, so that's where we're at at the moment. So we went into this Goodwill here in Hillsboro. It says that it's like a super Goodwill, superstore, whatever. It's so mid. Super mid. It, it's kind of like sad how mid it is. Yeah, it was, it was like a... They had a lot of clothes. So if you're really into clothes, it yeah. might be. But like looking at everything else, pretty, pretty lowbrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have seen way better Goodwills. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, large, lots of clothes. There was shit on the floor. There was actual <laughs> shit. Literal shit. They had the caution, like, wet floor sign to kind of draw people's attention to the fact that there was just a whole turd smashed and, like, slid across the floor. Yeah, like, someone shit on the floor, got swifty, and then a cart ran it over. <laughs> yeah. I think it's funny that we've been in Portland less than 24 hours and yet we've seen more shit on the floor than ever before. <laughs> but yeah, that, it wasn't even worth taking the camera out in there. But yeah, we are looking into food and stuff. Yeah. So we, we had this delicious, the cherry lime flavor of d, d drink. It was tasty. Tasty. Let's just take a quick pause right here to say that yes, I did lose the footage for this game store as well. It is T-O-T-L Games. It is literally across the street from the Portland Convention Center and it's a very well organized, super clean. Prices were not quite as great as the first store we went to. They also have a card area in the back which sells cards as well as having plenty of tables and space in order for you to play games. They also have things like Gundam kits, I only got some snacks at this game store, which will eventually be in another video. We haven't really eaten anything else. Nope. But we're thinking, what was it, Brazilian barbecue? Brazilian steakhouse. Steakhouse. Which I haven't had Brazilian food before, knowingly. Yeah, I never, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't pick it out of a lineup. <laughs> yeah. But we will have to see what it's like. Yeah. Have to see what this is all about, so. Maybe a hyperlapse to the place and then yeah, see what see what's up. Chow down. <gasps> The 
this was honestly the best old fashioned that I have ever had. For the barbecue, you could fill up your plate from the market table, and then they would come around with meats and offerings. It's a new day. Didn't film after Powell's. We just got a couple books and a deck of cards. And uh, yeah, today, I don't know how much I'll film. Just whatever the day brings is what I will share. And if I don't share anything, then uh, just know that it'll probably have been fun. Yeah, so. Look at that guy. Hell yeah. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped upside down. <laughs> Something I have never seen in person or online really has been these Pokemon vending machines. Apparently you can get Pokemon cards at a Safeway in a vending machine like this. I thought it was super cool and recorded to share. Got one yet. Uh, it's a Snickers. So we ended up getting coffees and then we went to Portland Leather. They were having an ice cream social event, which means that they have free ice cream. There's a whole bunch of people gathered. They have the blind mystery boxes out. So we just, I did a little shopping, Connor did a little shopping, and we ended up getting two mystery boxes that I open in the next clip. All right, so as you saw, we went to Portland Leather and I picked up a couple of mystery boxes. This, uh, wherever the sticker is. This is the Sea Grade Mystery Bag and it's a large camera bag purse. So, and then this is a crossbody somewhere. This is a mini crossbody. So let's see what we got. but it's like chocolatey red. That looks nice. Does it have a... Yeah, so that is the camera bag. And then let's see what the crossbody is. The only color that I am really not a fan of is the pearl. I feel like I would get it too dirty. But I like that it's shimmery, so let's see what this is. Oh! It's the same color. You got matching. Yeah! So, in the mini crossbody, it's got its strap, and it's just a snap one, no zip. Ooh. Nice. How cool. Cool. Stickers. So that's what we got in the mystery. The matching set. Yes. And now something that I was super excited about going to Portland was we went to Memory Den, which is the largest vintage antique mall in Portland. And it, it was fantastic. We went through the entire downstairs, went to lunch, and then came back and did the entire upstairs as best as we could. Okay. <laughs> 
So there's a chance to win a four 1991 season tickets. <laughs> it's a stadium oh. of your choice. Those would pro it would probably sell Actually, online of getting the tickets. Yeah, right. Because things aren't physical tickets anymore. Yeah, let's see if Ken Giffey Jr. is in here though. It's 1990. And if there's any gum. Yeah, I want to see. I think there is gum actually. Let's see, right, right in the middle there. Oh no, it's a sticker. Oh. A shiny sticker. A sticker that came in there. It's the Texas Rangers. Mm -hmm. Totally 3D. I don't yeah. know if it's picking up on camera, but it's pretty um, cool. It's shiny at least. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Harold Vines, Dwight Smith. Oh, upside down. Kevin Romain, Todd Warler, John Moses, Vance Coleman. Eric Show, Geronimo Baroa, Rick Leach, Jaime Navarro, Gary Carter. Oh, it's funny how back in the day they like flip over and stuff. Junior Felix, Greg Minton, Ron Jones, and Rick Aguilera. You kind of look like him. You got the big <laughs> lip too. A little bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> cool. Let's head out. For lunch, we went to this place in downtown Portland that was a whole bunch of food trucks just all sharing one congregated, like, seating area. It was super cool to see all the different offerings. They had, like, Indian pizza. They had just, you know, standard euros, pizza, sandwiches, like, everything was like an option it seemed so cool we ended up just sharing a euro because we weren't that hungry but there were there were a lot of choices honestly the um, Japanese sandwich place seemed to have the longest line and so it must have really been popping a fantastic trip and I can't wait to do it again sometime and yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog even if I did lose some footage but I feel like I'm leveling up my uh, editing skills so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you flock and squawk again with us sometime bye